Hey guys, so I was asked on Tumblr, how do you know when to go to the hospital for suicidal thoughts? And I'm gonna answer this question based on my experience with um, suicide hotlines, my local numbers. And what they do generally is they ask you what's going on and um, you know, a lot of people call suicide hotlines but not everyone is recommended to, to go to the hospital because you can have thoughts like uh, you know I really I'm just sick of this I, I, I just want to die I wish I was never born I wish I, I wish I was just dead and you can you can think those things without necessarily having plans to actually go through with it without actually feeling like you're a danger to you're necessarily an immediate danger to yourself or ever um, but when you what they what they ask is, and this is this is where I'm getting my my thoughts from is what they ask is are do you have any plans um, if you, if you've gotten to the point where you're where you've planned out your which which way you're gonna die or how you're gonna do it or all kinds of details surrounding it um, then they can they take that as a concern well obviously it's always a concern but it's like a, the next step towards you actually taking that step. Um, they want to know if you're a th an immediate threat to yourself. And if you're an immediate threat to yourself, they highly recommend that you go to the hospital. So that is when I would say you know that it's time to go to the hospital, when you feel like you are a threat to yourself. And I do recommend suicide hotlines, they've helped me many times. Um, I know that they can seem scary. Um, as long as uh, in, in conversations people, I've, well I've heard a lot of you guys or read a lot of you guys say that you're afraid to call a suicide hotline because they, they might send the police after you or you know things like that and me as long as I promised um, I wasn't going to hurt myself, I wasn't going to take that step, as long as I promised they, they would let me go without sending the police or anything like that. So they're, they're not, you know, illogical or like just like bang every time you know, we're sending the cops after you. They, they, they deal with this all the time and um, they say, you know, you can call back any time and uh, if you feel like you're gonna um, be, if you feel like later you get to the point where you are a danger to yourself, you can call us back. That's generally what they say. So anyways, um, basically, yeah, when you go to the hospital, when you are in immediate danger to yourself. And um, it is okay to go. I know it is a scary thought. It is okay to go. Um, you're worth it. Your, your life is worth it. So there you go. Um, if that answers your question. Um, if you have any other video requests, you can put them in the comment section. Um, if you've had any experience uh, going to the hospital for suicidal ideation, then you can put that in the comments so that other people can read about how it was for you, um, whether it helped you, uh, that kind of thing. Okay, so take care guys, and I hope you're well, and um, I'm really sorry if you guys are going through this kind of thing right now, because likely that's why you clicked on this video, and um, so take care of yourselves, and please do what you have to do to, to be well, to save yourselves. If you are brave enough to tie the noose, if you are brave enough to swallow the pills and if you are brave enough to lie there and die then you can be brave enough to face another day.